if we look at a green vial, green again is 3.75. This is a, a plus, advanced plus implant, and we open the vial by twisting. Again, easily done by the doctor or the assistant. There's a second vial also labeled inside. We take the implant out. Inside it is encased in titanium. We take the driver, okay, the long but standard platform driver, and we simply insert it inside, remove the implant, and again, very retentive, it's not going to fall or drop out of place. Now this can be driven many ways. It can be driven by the handpiece. We would, we would drive it at, oh, 25 or 27 rotations per minute. We can attach the adapter to the handle. If it's precisely in place and it can be hand driven or we can then utilize the ratchet and if there's a side marked in and a side marked out and so the ratchet fits securely to the driver and it can be ratcheted into place. We can even control the torque by adjusting the torque setting on the driver and that's by twisting the handle. We can go ahead and we can set the torque driver. Everything fits securely in place. Nothing is going to fall. We can also utilize one other device to insert the implant and that's utilizing the hand driver again which is in the base of the tray. And so in the base of the tray we have our hand driver and we'll see that I can take the implant insertion key I'm going to slide it into the driver. On the driver, I can see that there are dots. These dots here correspond to the flat of the hex on the implant. So we can control the position. So now let's take our vial. Here we are. I'm going to take off the cover. So we're not touching the implant at all. I'm going to insert the key, insertion key inside, and remove it. Again, securely in place, and this can be rotated, and you can hand adjust and hand place the implants using the hand driver, which is very nice, especially when doing or placing implants in the anterior maxilla. If the implant was inserted or partially inserted and then required removal, so there can be re-preparation of the osteotomy, then the implant can be reinserted into its vial and completely encased in titanium without fear of contamination. The five millimeter implant comes with a yellow top because five millimeter corresponds to yellow. If we open the vial, here the plastic's already been removed. We can see that we have the inner vial. If we remove that vial and we remove the cover, we can see that inside the cover is the cover screw. The 3.25, 375, and 42 millimeter implants also have the cover screw inside the cover. When we need a screwdriver, we can take the adapter and if it's going to be a long screwdriver, we select the long hex key or short screwdriver the short hex key. So we remove it and insert it into the adapter and we've created a screwdriver. That screwdriver then can be utilized to remove the cover screw from inside the cap. And that can be, cover screw can now be inserted into the implant. If the ratchet is going to be utilized to seat the implant, then the adapter is taken. We take the ratchet. We see one side says in, one side says out. We insert the adapter into the side that says in. And then we pick and select the appropriate implant insertion key 
So if it's a standard platform, we would take the long or the short and insert that to complete the assembly. Now we can utilize these numbers, 20, 40, 60, you know, Newton centimeter to go ahead and, and set the appropriate insertion torque. For the pal top implants, we generally recommend not to exceed between, or like to be between 30 and 40 Newton centimeter. The adjustment of this can be done by rotating the handle. When you rotate it, it will change the position of the, of the setting. If you want to reverse the implant, then simply remove the adapter with the implant insertion key. Go to the side that says out, reinsert it, and it will now work in reverse.